welcome back to the very end, the grand finale of Metroid Fusion. There's nothing left to do but to go up to the operations deck, go into the operations room, and set this station to self-destruct, and crash into the planet as well. go. The door locked. And the door to the operations room is locked, too. Sure enough, it's one final face-off against the SAX. He is vulnerable to charged wave beam shots. He will also take damage from the screw attack, but you will also take damage because he's also because it is also screw attack. But after a while, this will happen. It mutate. It'll mutate. enough. It's a core. It holds the ice beam. Fittingly. Oops. There we go. Fittingly, the one with the ice beam was the one that was mimicking Samus. But anyway, we try to grab it and it flies away. Can't get it yet. We can't get the ice cream. However, we can go into the operations room and we can do our mission. Propulsion Orbit change implemented. Activated. Destination planet SR388. Three minutes to impact. In three minutes, the station will crash land into the planet. We need to get out of here. Every door will lock behind you. Every door that's not on the main path will be locked. Aside from the recharge room down here. But I will say this right now. There is no purpose to, to going into that recharge room. The save room's disabled because, well... I think the place is exploding, so really, there's no point to saving. Anyway. You can make it down this path fat, really fast. Because all those platforms are screw attack blocks. But... We get in here and... The ship's gone. And we see an Omega Metroid. It is massive, and its claw knocks you down to one energy. You will be down to one energy no matter what. But now the SAX reforms and starts shooting the Metroid with the F with the ice beam. You know Metroids have an adverse reaction to cold, so time to fight. As a side note, the claw does one full tank of damage. It is immune to everything except the ice beam, but you saw how fast that thing went down. And now, we're done here. The planet right there. Let's leave. military mind. The wisdom of Adam Malkovich continued to serve even after death. Until today, I had no idea that the minds of leaders and scientists were frequently uploaded to computers. My incredible reunion with Adam may have saved the universe. But how will the beings of the universe view our resolve? 
I doubt they will understand what we did, the danger we barely averted. They will hold tribunals and investigations. They will hold us responsible. Adam understood this, and he spoke to me in my anger. Do not worry. One of them will understand. One of them must. I've reflected upon his words, and I see the wisdom in them. We are all bound by our experiences. They are the limits for consciousness. But in the end, the human soul will ever reach for the truth. This is what I am talking about. Just one detail still bothers me. The ship can only be started manually. Yet, before I faced the Omega Metroid, the ship moved on its own, guided by someone's hands. Is it possible? Adam? Lady, what's troubling you? Wonder how I started the ship? Just think about it. They lent me a hand. Sure enough, the ones that started the ship were the animals. And that is the end of Metric Fusion. It's different from other Metroid games in that it's a little bit more story-centric. And most of the exploration is kind of saved to the end of it. But, that doesn't make it any less of a good game. Matter of fact, I'd say, as a matter of fact... Okay, so, with the story the way it is... Fusion is canonically the last game in the series as of this point. So, unless they expand on it beyond Fusion, this is the end. And at this point, Samus, having completely disobeyed the Federation, is now probably wanted by them. So, if they were to expand on the series beyond Fusion, perhaps they could land Samus on a planet somewhere and have her be hiding from the Federation themselves. I'm not sure what else would happen there, because as of this point, the X are no longer a threat, they're completely obliterated. Results screen. After this fades away, at least. So, depending on how well you did, there are five different end game screens. They will show your clear time and your rate for collecting items, which mine is 100%. There are different... There are different end screens for... Finishing the game. Finishing the game under four hours. Finishing the game under two hours. Finishing the game with 100%. And finishing the game with 100% under two hours. This is the 100% screen. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will, as the screen says, see you next mission.